Hello children, today I am going to read a chapter from the book Frank Primary Social Studies, Class 5 and the name of the chapter is Evolution of Human Beings. Now let's get started with the reading. You have learnt in Class 3 that the invention of the wheel brought about great changes in transportation. Have you ever wondered who invented the wheel? Wheel was invented by the early humans. The people who lived on the earth thousands of years ago are called the early humans. The early humans lived in prehistoric times. It was the time when no one knew how to read or write and therefore we do not have any written material or record on how people lived in those times. Sources that tell us about the early humans. Scientists and archaeologists rely upon fossils, tools and weapons left behind by the early human beings to study the past. Bones and skeletons of human beings and animals belonging to that period also give us a good insight into their lives. We also get some information about the early human beings from their shelters and cave paintings on the walls of the caves in which they lived. The Human Evolution The story of evolution helps us to understand that human beings evolved from the ape family. Around 60 million years ago, the apes appeared on the earth. These apes slowly developed into human beings. This slow development of human beings from apes to the modern people is called evolution. Human beings first appeared on this earth around 3 million years ago. Scientists believe that we, the human beings, evolved from hominids that lived on this earth thousands of years ago. Scientists have classified hominids into three different categories. Homo habilis, the first to make tools of stone. Homo erectus, the first to stand upright and use fire. Homo sapiens, the thinking people. As you can see in the illustrations, the three categories. Did you know it is generally believed from a study of fossils that hominids were from Africa? The Stone Age The Stone Age is the period in history when human beings used various kinds of tools made of stone. The period can be divided into Number 1. The Paleolithic Age or the Old Stone Age Number 2. The Mesolithic Age or the Middle Stone Age Number 3. The Neolithic Age or the New Stone Age Number 4. The Chalcolithic Age or the Stone Copper Age The Paleolithic Age or the Old Stone Age Early human beings who lived during this period ate fruits and roots they killed animals with their stone weapons and ate their flesh. They were known as hunter-gatherers because they lived by hunting animals and gathering plants and fruits to eat. However, they faced two major problems. Many animals ran faster than the early humans. It was dangerous to get too close to the animals as they attacked the early human beings, often killing or injuring them. Tools. To overcome the problems faced during hunting, the early human beings made tools of stone which had sharp edges and could be thrown from a distance. They did this by chipping away small pieces of stone from a big piece. Gradually, they learned that some stones could be chipped and made sharper more easily than others. The picture shows the stone tools used by early humans. The hunter-gatherers discovered a stone called flint. Flint stone could be easily shaped and was used to make sharp objects. They made knives, spears, arrowheads, axes and harpoons. With flint and other stones, these tools were used for hunting animals, cutting meat, fish, digging and even sewing. During excavations, the archaeologists have found many such tools which still retain their sharpness. Shelters 
People living in the stone age did not have houses as we have now. So they lived on trees to protect themselves from wild animals. Sometimes they made houses with animal skins to protect themselves from the sun, cold and rain. The early humans took shelter in rock caves. Cave paintings. Early human beings made paintings and drawings on the walls of the caves they lived in, possibly as a form of recreation. Most of these show images of hunting. Archaeologists believe that these paintings may have had some religious significance. What is significant is that the colors used in these paintings are still quite vivid. Did you know India has one of the largest collections of rock paintings in the world. The most famous of the rock paintings are in Bhim Bhetka in Madhya Pradesh. This means that prehistoric humans existed here in India also. The recent discovery of a large collection of tools in Jharkhand also points out to the same. You can see the picture of rock paintings in Bhim Bhetka. Fossils. We can also study the bones and skeletons of these early people to know them better. The traces of prehistoric bones, skeletons, animal and plant remains preserved in rocks are called fossils. The picture shows a fossil from the prehistoric times. Do and learn. Use reference history books, newspapers on the internet to collect pictures of cave paintings made by the early human beings. Paste the pictures in your scrapbook and write two lines about each picture. The life of the hunter-gatherer The life of the hunter-gatherer was difficult. They led a nomadic life moving from one place to another in search of food and water. They hunted animals and ate berries nuts and fruits. They wore cloths made of leaves and animal skins. The discovery and use of fire changed the lives of people in many ways. However, it is not known how fire was discovered. Many theories abound, some of which are listed below. Lightning set dry woods on fire, occurrence of a forest fire, sparks from stone tools that were being made. Fire helped the early humans in many ways. Fire could keep people warm. Fire protected them from wild animals. Food cooked on fire was softer and tastier. Fire lit up the dark caves at night. Now you can see the picture that shows early humans discover spark while making stone tools. Did you know? There are groups of people in the Andaman Islands who live the life of a hunter-gatherer even today. Discuss. Think and discuss. What are the uses of fire in our day-to-day -day lives? The Mesolithic Age or the Middle Stone Age. This was the period after the Paleolithic Age. The period saw the beginning of agriculture in some areas. Canoes and bows have been found at some sites which indicate a certain degree of advancement from the old stone age. However, tools made of flint continue to be used for hunting and gathering food. The Neolithic Age or the New Stone Age This period witnessed the beginning of a settled life, the practice of agriculture and domestication of animals. Some of the earliest crops grown were wheat and millet. Settled life and agriculture provided the early humans with a regular supply of food. The early humans also started keeping dogs, sheep, goats, cattle, pigs and poultry. Domestication of animals had several advantages, some of which are discussed below. It provided them a regular supply of meat. They could use the skin of animals for covering themselves. Animal skin was also used for making huts. Later, cattle were used for plowing the land. Animals were used by early humans to protect themselves from the attack of other tribes. 
the settled knife led to the early human beings making huts using twigs grass sticks clay and the skin of animals gradually more people started living together in one area this is how villages came about another important development of the neolithic age was the invention of the wheel this invention made the life of the people much easier now they could transport goods on wheeled carts make pottery on the potter's wheel and also use the wheel for spinning and weaving cloths think and answer which period do the following belong to fire domestication of animals settled life stone tools nomadic life let's discuss the answer to each of the following number 1 is fire so any guesses yes you are right children fire came into existence in the paleolithic age or the old stone age number 2 domestication of animals it started in the neolithic age or the new stone age number 3 settled life that started again in the neolithic age or the new stone age stone tools started in the paleolithic age or the old stone age and the last is nomadic life and that was in the paleolithic age or the old stone age now let's move on the next stage is the chalcolithic age or the stone copper age the next period witnessed a gradual transition from the use of stone tools to the use of metals the first metal used was copper the spirit is called chalcolithic age or the stone copper age during this period there was a widespread use of stone tools alongside copper tools chalcolithic people were good copper smiths and stone workers bangles made of copper and tools made of stone have been found in many sites they used a different kind of pottery known as black and red pottery the bronze age The Bronze Age began when people learned to mix copper and tin to make bronze. Tools made of bronze were stronger than stone tools. The discovery of copper and tin had far-reaching effects, some of which are discussed below. People needed to mine tin and copper. This meant that some people had to shift from farming to mining. This in turn meant that farmers had to produce more food. More occupations emerged to sustain each other. For example, the potter had to create more pots for storing surplus grains. Therefore, we see major changes during this period. So, here are some objects of the Bronze Age. You can see the illustrations. Do and learn. Visit a museum or an archaeological site. Record your observations there and conduct a discussion in the class with your teacher's permission. Gradually the discovery of metals gave way to the end of the stone age. And that marks the end of the chapter. Now let's discuss some vocabulary. Archaeologist. A person who studies the past by digging out and examining the remains of old cities, objects and buildings that have been buried in the ground over the ages. Excavation. Digging out old buried objects to learn more about the past. Hominids, prehistoric apes, significant importance, vivid, clear, and detailed images. Now let's have a quick recap. Evolution of human beings is divided into three parts: categories, sources, and the Stone Ages. Under categories, we have Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Homo sapiens. Sources are tools, shelters, cave paintings. the stone ages the paleolithic age the mesolithic age the neolithic age the chalcolithic age and that is the end of the chapter thank you children